where were you at career-wise before you started working with us? I wasn't that knowledgeable about security principles uh, at all before I joined the cohort. And through it, I was able to pass my Security Plus on the first try. Hey, Austin, thanks for coming out and doing this call with me today. I know you've gone through my GovTech Accelerator program. So how has the program been and where were you at career-wise before you started working with us? Yeah, I feel like the program has gone very well. I wasn't that knowledgeable about security principles uh, at all before I joined the cohort. And through it, I was able to pass my Security Plus on the first try, which I was like very, very proud of because I didn't think that was going to be possible in the short amount of time that um, we went through everything. It was not easy, but it was definitely worth it showing up every week. So I'm glad it was a fruitful you know time to put that work in and you know be rewarded for that success yes yes so what did you know about GovTech and security plus before you end up joining the program really not much i knew like some basic attacks like worms bug in general stuff that you see in like spy movies or whatever like over time and learning like what type of different stuff that was like you know, i've seen like most stuff in tv and movies you see like a lot of red team things not a lot of blue team stuff and it seems like the blue team stuff is actually like a little more popular or like easier to get into but i, I did not know much about it i knew about vpns and, and stuff like that but i was able to learn so much more as far as like frameworks and the legal side of cybersecurity and and a whole bunch of other attacks that really shocked me at how easy it is to, you know, fall for like a, a phishing scam. I was like, you know, no one's really falling for that nowadays. And, you know, you all learn that it's, a, I think the most vulnerable part is like really human error. And just learning through that, I was like, wow, like not only can I use this on the job, but it also helps me protect myself and my family as well. Definitely, definitely. So had you tried studying for the Security Plus or any other tech certifications before joining the program? No, not for uh, cybersecurity. I had been learning some stuff like, like self-taught as far as like different programming and coding languages. But um, I had not previously decided to study for Security Plus before joining. It was definitely beneficial since uh, me joining and watching your YouTube videos, seeing how important it was to have the Security Plus to be able to be in GovTech. So I was like, well, seems like I'm really going to need that. And this seems to be the best person to learn it from. And yeah, I was correct. Nice, nice. So since you got your uh, Security Plus, you know, what did you find most valuable about helping you get the Security plus certification once the information was in you know I, I really enjoyed going through all the informational slides and classes and once that information was in I think what really honed in everything was the practice exams and you know I did a practice exam at least once a day if, if not more to help myself like feel prepared for it you know trying to get you know at least 80 percent or above on those practice exams before I felt ready and you know kudos to um, my girlfriend who pushed me because even after the time I was like I still you don't feel ready for this and you know just like how your advice was like you know just put a date on the calendar and commit yourself to that date and just take it and you know i was like okay i still don't feel ready but you know they said to just put a date somewhere and take it and i did yeah yeah i think a lot of times we just tell ourselves that you know we're not ready for it and sometimes you just gotta you know you gotta trust yourself trust the process and trust that you've been studying and putting in the work and once you set that date, it makes it reality. Like, okay, you know, this is the date I'm going to take it. Um, and you showed up and, and you passed. Did you take it in person or did you do it online? I actually did it online because mm -hmm. I didn't want to like be too late to it because you know how Atlanta traffic is sometimes. And yeah. <laughs> so I did yeah. it here and I actually started with a few technical issues because apparently my, my desk space wasn't clean enough. So if you are going to take it online, make sure you have a clean desk space. So they don't think you're cheating or anything. But it, I started actually like a little bit late, but I still had, you know, plenty enough time to, to finish the test. But that was my only concern with the, the online testing. OK, well, glad you were able to finish the, the test on time and and utilize our uh, testing strategies and, and resources that we have to you for you to be able to to pass your Security Plus exam on the first time. So what is it that made you want to sign up for my program? Really just seeing how well you're established in the community, knowing that you really love to help others. I, I feel like you don't really get too much of that authenticity from most places. And I think that's really important to have as far as like learning someone, like choosing someone to learn from. It's good to have that type of connection being like, okay, well, to learn from this person or this person, there's a lot of different choices online nowadays. And I'm just like, I feel like this is right at home. I feel like she's family. Let's get this over with. I mean, you've helped a lot of people out and some of those people weren't even, you know, um, assigned to their courses. Like some people just, you know, 
took some tweets that you put together and was like success stories. I'm like, that's crazy insane that um, that even free information could help change someone's life. Yeah, definitely. So the free information definitely can help change people's lives. And then also coming into the program and having a, a structured program that's going to help you reach your goals is life changing as well. So would you recommend my GovTech career program to other people? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If I feel like if they want a great community, I think that's important, too. I didn't speak on that enough. The environment as well, because, you know, you're not in this alone at all. Like so many of us were just helping us study, like even, you know, after hours and like chatting, like, hey, hey, I found this particular question and like, um, it might be on the test and like this is what i thought about the answer like do you think my answer is correct or why or why not and i just think that's very important to have along with the structure program i feel like it was very much well worth it for sure nice nice so super excited that you were able to pass your security plus exam and we're excited to help you throughout your career progression as well so your career intensive core program is going to be great as well so we look forward to, to helping you reach your goals, Austin, and helping you with, you know, the knowledge that you've gained throughout the program and applying it so you'll land your first GovTech job. So thank you so much, Austin, for coming out. I definitely appreciate you. And this was just a quick call with just Austin. So you can get to know more about my GovTech career program. And if you are interested in joining, you can just click the link in the description below so you can learn more to see how you can apply to work with me.